Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I want to give you guys a quick update. On Friday, May 21st, uh, we're going to be releasing the Pendulum gift box. And what that is, is a pendulum, as you guys can see here. Uh, some of the sets are going to come with necklaces and others are going to come with a ring. Um, we also have here a vial. This is for protection, for communication, and um, for clear communication, I should say. Um, and what these are is basically they have, obviously, if you know what a pendulum is, then great. If you're interested, definitely check out our online store. Friday, May 21st is when they drop. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what a pendulum is, then probably not for you. But anyways, these uh, pendulums, these sets have been ritualized and consecrated through ceremonial magic to be able to contact or communicate with your spirit guides and ancestors. It will keep other unwanted spirits away. Only clear communication with your spirit guides and ancestors. That's what they have been um, charged with. So again, if you're interested, definitely check that out. Anyways, let's get into the reading. Let's see what spirit has for you, Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in regards to love and romance. How are you doing, Aquarius? Okay, spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward. Give us a clear picture of what is going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. We're going to be using two different decks, Aquarius, one for you and one for your partner. Okay, we have cards popping out already. First card here is the Nine of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Hierophant. Wow. Okie dokie. What is going on, Aquarius? Okay, so... Nine of Swords, there's a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress, and a lot of worry in regards to commitment, in regards to marriage, or in regards to partnerships. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Cancer, you may be dealing with Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see Water here as well, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Taurus, Energy as well. I see you guys making a decision to go for it like jumping, like wholeheartedly jumping into this connection. Um, in the past, there could have been a lot of stress or a lot of worry in regards to how you wanted to proceed with this connection. Um, I feel that these were more mental fears, like things that you have been either dealing with for in the past for quite a while or just not knowing exactly what it is that you want or that you were looking for. And I feel that you're much more empowered now, Aquarius. For some of you guys, it's really looking to the past and acknowledging certain like mistakes in past relationships and understanding them, um, wanting to be the better version of yourself moving forward. Um, now, I do see you guys taking, again, like I said, like taking your power back, uh, leading leading or moving forward knowing with the clear indication of what it is that you expect in relationships whether it's for you know with the queen of swords here your energy whether it's understanding that you need a uh, certain time to yourself um so as an example maybe in the past uh you had a tendency of being drawn to people that are extremely intense and passionate to the point where you kind of felt suffocated in relationships and that could have been the reason why you didn't really see yourself in a committed relationship or in a marriage. Um, for others of you, it could have been almost like the expectancy of, I don't want to fail based off of what we've seen, meaning what you've experienced in the past or those people around you that have been in commitments uh, or in marriages. Like you didn't want to follow the pack. You wanted to go on your own path, do your own will, basically. Um, but I think it had more to do with the fact of people that you have a tendency of being most attracted to. And it's people that are extremely passionate and intense. When I hear that, it usually indicates to me people that kind of suffocate sometimes, um, you know, when they are overdoing it, when they are, you know, over texting you, 
uh, over communicating, over wanting to be with you all the time, 24 seven. And it was almost like a fear of, I don't want to lose myself or this person is kind of pushing me to want to escape the relationship. Um, but I see you guys being more mindful of that. And there is a connection, um, whether you're in a relationship right now, you feel that this connection could be the one, that this person could be the one. You feel very drawn to them. You feel very loved and nurtured. Uh, for others of you, you're going to be experiencing a connection that's coming towards you with a person that could be very worldly. So when I say worldly, it indicates a person that has either experienced a lot in their life and doesn't really have fears of attachment. So I feel that this person would mesh very well with you because they're able to love you and be in their own power as well as give you the freedom or respect your, you know, alone time or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's kind of like you guys both are going to be able to thrive off of each other um, by giving or respecting each other's space and each other's room to do what you want so that you don't feel um, so that you don't feel pressured into that commitment. I feel that it's going to happen very organically for you guys. So again, I do see commitment coming towards you. Could be fire energy, like I said, a cancer. Could be water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Taurus energy here as well. Or again, for some of you guys, this could also represent um, having a connection with someone that could be from a distance. It could be a person that you meet um, either online or online dating or anything like that where uh, there is a bit of a distancing. However, distance will not be an issue. Um, I feel that it's actually going to bring you guys closer. So you definitely stay out and look out for that. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I do see this progressing into a much more uh, monogamous con commitment. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be even, you know, thinking or knowing that this person may be the one for you, uh, which is a very beautiful energy. I feel like you guys have been through a lot. Okay, let's look at your partner's cards. Let's see what they're, how they're viewing the situation, how they're feeling about you, Aquarius. Okay. Now, their first card here is the Two of Cups. You guys have two Two of Cups. So there is definitely a soul connection here. Next card is the Four of Wands. The Moon card, maybe dealing with Pisces energy. Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Okay. Yeah, I feel it's funny because I'm sensing like you guys are kind of mirroring each other's energies. Um, the Two of Cups is a genuine connection, a genuine soul connection. This is a person that is from your soul tribe. They understand what you have been through. They know exactly what it is that they want. Four of Wands is commitment. Um, could have been some fears or confusion about commitment in the past with this person because we have the moon here. But the Three of Cups is understanding or knowing that love doesn't necessarily mean restrictions. Love to them represents freedom, having fun, the three of cups. Nine of pentacles is that of the energy of being able to fully embrace a commitment with the two of cups, but knowing that you guys are still individuals of each other's own individuality. So this is a person that will thrive off of um, you know, being close and loving each other, but also having the need to have each other's space or give each other some room, some space to do your own thing so that you don't feel like you're losing yourself in a relationship. And this is exactly what they're needing at this point. So they're definitely seeing eye to eye to, with you in regards to relationships. The hermit card could represent a person that is introspection, um, very um, analytical about themselves. They internalize a lot. And I feel that Aquarians have a tendency of doing that as well. You guys could have a tendency of being too much in your head. I feel that this person is the same way. Um, there's not a lot of need to verbalize when they care for someone. This is a person that is independent. This is a person that um, through actions will show you how much you mean to them. And again, the moment that if you have not met this person already, you will be meeting a person. And the way of knowing that that person is the one for you, Aquarius, is because I feel that the moment they start bringing or telling you that they enjoy doing something and they invite you to do that with them, they're opening up their world to you. So that's how you're going to know that this person is the one that they are predicting 
you will be or you will start to build a relationship with this person. I feel that you guys are kind of being drawn together astrologically. The planet alignments are assisting you. If you haven't met this person, you may uh, be meeting this person in the coming full moon. Um, or there's going to be a situation that is going to spiral into this connection. So again, pay attention to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.